Today we'll look at how to use Midjourney to create a professional profile photo. You can start with an image like this and make it look like this. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a photo of the person you want to put in your image. You generally want something plain and relatively well lit. So I think this is a good example here. Next, we want to create a prompt that describes the new setting we want our person to be in. I like to search Google for some reference images. So I'll search for professional profile photo. And I'll go to the images tab. And we have lots of cool results here. I'll scroll down. I like this one here. Let me click it. Now we'll use Google Gemini to describe this image, and we'll use that description and our other photo as input into Midjourney. So I'm on the Google Gemini page here. You can also use ChatGPT for this, but I found that the free plan for ChatGPT only lets you upload a few images per day. So far, I haven't found any limit with Google Gemini. So let's copy this image. I'll paste it into Google Gemini. I'm gonna tell it that I'm using an image generator to make a professional profile picture. And I'd like Google Gemini to give me a description of this image that I can help feed into that image generator. So this is the prompt I use here. Let's run this. And if we scroll down, we can see the prompt it gave us. Now, some of it might not be relevant for our person. For example, maybe the race and age. But this is a good start. Now let's go to Midjourney. So I'll open up Midjourney here. And I'm going to go to the Create tab. So I'll click Create. And at the top of the Create tab, we have this Input button here. I want to set it to version 7. So I'm gonna click these lines here, which are for the settings. And I'm gonna click this drop down for version, and I'll choose seven. So I'll click off. So now I'm gonna click this button here, add images. What I'm gonna do is add a Omni reference. This is the new version seven feature. It's similar to the old character reference. So let's click on this. I'm gonna upload a file. So let's click this button here. And I'm gonna choose the reference photo I showed you earlier. So I'll click this, I'll press open. Now I'll click and drag him into Omni reference. So this is the person we want to put in our prompt. Now you have this slider here. Let me click this. This is how strong the effect will be. And it goes from one to a thousand. Now you may think dialing up to a thousand is the best thing. And you could certainly experiment with that. But I find better options when it's a little bit lower, like in the 800 range. So let's keep it there. Now let's take our Gemini prompt. I'll take this, I'll copy it. And I'll paste it here. Now some of this I don't exactly want. I'll take out the East Asian part. Let's look at the rest. I think that's fine for now. Now we can click on the settings button and also change the aspect ratio. I'll make it portrait. Let's close that. And now I'll click the arrow to submit it. So let's press submit and it will start processing. So it's starting to fill it in. And sometimes the early results will make you a little bit scared about how bad it's gonna be. I find the last 20% is where it really starts to come together. So let's see what it does. 60%. And here we have 100%. So let's look at them. This is our mid journey image. Let's compare them to our original person. I think it's a pretty close resemblance. Let's look at the next one. We have this one here. So it did a really good job. And of course, you can always rerun your prompt and make slight tweaks to it. To quickly rerun something, you can press rerun. You can also click on the text here to put it back there. I'll click on the photo here. And then maybe I want to change some of these things. Let's change the color of his suit. Let's say he's wearing a red suit jacket. Now here's another tip. I can type repeat three. And I can run this three times in a row. That can save some time if you want to quickly generate a bunch of images. Let's try it now. So this will generate 12 images total. And we can see it coming in. And they're done. Let's look at this one. So on the left, we have our original guy. And now we have our mid-journey generation here. And of course, you can go back to Google Images and find all sorts of other background styles you want to use. Check out my mid-journey playlist for other tips and tricks on using this tool. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.